have made our way into the kitchen and our next guests are a dynamic duo in the kitchen and today they've got us covered with a dynamic dinner and dessert. This is going to be fantastic. Welcome back Candace Nelson and for the first time Daniele Uditi. How do I do, Daniele? Bene, grazie. Bene, oh, ma bene. Debbie, Larissa, Ken at the counter, they can't wait for this. Actually, they don't have to wait for it because it's right there. Yeah. Now, before we get cooking, before we get started on this, now, uh, Candice, I know you are the co-founder of Sprinkles Cupcakes. I mean, oh my gosh, Sprinkles Cupcakes, amazing. I love, I that, love that reaction. And uh, your newest venture, Pizzana. Pizzana. It's got a couple locations here in California, and you actually, you guys met actually because of actor Chris O'Donnell. Tell us the story. Well, it was love at first bite yes. is how I like to introduce <laughs> it. True. I was at my friend Chris O'Donnell's house. He has had become known for these pizza parties he yeah. was doing, and this was the man behind the wood-burning oven. Is that right? I yeah. took one bite, and I said, I got to meet this guy. And I sought him out, and we just spent the whole night kind of talking about what makes into go, uh, what goes into making a great dough, yeah. what, makes into, uh, what makes a great pastry, and we just kind of geeked out. And I had a lot of cupcakes, too. So. Yeah, 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 that's right. right. Like it. You had a lot of that yeah. uh, sugar energy. Uh, yeah. What it was meant to be. Because yeah. here we are today, and we're going to make a little bit of both. We're going to start with the pizza. You've mm -hmm. got the dough rolled mm -hmm. out already or pressed out. Mm -hmm. Take us through it. Well, this pizza that we're going to make is called Sud a Sud. Which, Sud a Sud. Yeah, it's translated like South to South, which is uh, what we're trying to do at Pizzana. We're trying to marry Southern Italy with the Southern California. So what? Oh, yeah. Love that. Love that. that makes sense, okay. right? We love the South. Yeah. Start at. So actually, uh, Naples, and where I come from, Italy is known for the San Marzano tomatoes, right? Okay. And uh, here in California, la, uh, like I was surprised to find San Marzano tomato grown here in Southern California. So this is uh, Italian, but growing here oh, with a beautiful, beautiful soil. So uh, I thought, why not, uh, you know, take advantage, advantage of this. It makes perfect sense of what we're trying to do. And then uh, I came up with this pizza. So I like the way you're thinking. Basically, <laughs> just going to top, top it out the San Marzano on the okay. base. the best pizza I've ever eaten in my oh. life. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Thank you. So oh, kind of. Very good. You see a, why Candace yeah. was like, we got to talk. That's a huge <laughs> statement for me because pizza is my favorite food group. <laughs> you and me both, my friend. I, I could only eat pizza for the rest of my life. So yeah. It's the perfect food. A little olive oil little on there oil. as well. Yeah, because why not? I'm Italian. Olive oil. <laughs> that's right. Exactly right. Some that's, salt. Yeah, some salt. And that's it. And then we're just going to do a little bit chefy move over Okay, here. very good. I love how simple it is. You, and it tastes, it tastes clean. not simple, but it right. tastes clean. Like clean you don't feel beautiful and light. heavy from it. It's all about the ingredients. And you take that guy out? At Pizzana, we're importing the there best from Italy, like the stone ground flour. Oh, we're bringing in man. cheese. We're bringing in our own tomato yep. sauce, um, but using the Beautiful. best produce produce from Southern California. Very so it's nice. this perfect South meets South. Yeah. Super yummy. Super yeah. yummy. And now yeah. we're going to finish it off. We're not done yet, right? Of course. Of course. We're going we gonna to slice it first, you know, and before to finish it off, you know, it, the, the, the tomato come from Southern, uh, Southern California, but we are known for the, the white gold. In our in our region, <laughs> the mozzarella right. di bufala campana. Mm -hmm. So the good stuff. Yeah, and this is like satisfying. You want to do this with me? Uh, I Off would love to try. On. Okay, what are, we, what are no, we doing this here? This is satisfying, right? Oh, yeah. Rip it apart the we cheese. Just break it apart. There you go, and just. Oh, it's so like good. Wow. It's okay. I can't I can't really make a mistake. Yeah, you know what I like to do uh, when I do pizza for uh, my family at home? Uh -huh. I say one for you, one for me. <laughs> <laughs> You got I don't blame right? you. I love that. That's good. Taste. This man always has his hands in the cookie jar. He's always trying to steal the dessert. Hey, this comes with a lot of years of eating dessert. Yes, you're allowed. <laughs> you're allowed. A little bit of fresh thyme. Oh, look at oh, this. And so this is a good. cream. This is a cream made out of the mozzarella. We just blend it out and add a little bit of milk, and then wow. we're gonna top it to enhance mm. the flavor of the oh. mozzarella di bufala. It's wow. amazing. There you go. It's amazing. And you can, Who wants a second piece? <laughs> I mean, yeah. how about a second piece? Yeah. It's so beautiful. And, and you while can, we do that, I think okay, there's 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 you can find this pizza right? yeah, at well, Pizana in Brentwood or West Hollywood, which is our new location, and people are going crazy go. for it. Oh, it is tomato yeah. season, yeah. but it is Thank also you. stone fruit season. Beautiful. So you can find it at mm -hmm. uh, stone fruit season. Oh exactly right. Which brings us to the next phase of this. You're up now. We're going to make this beautiful plum cake. Black plum. Upside down cornmeal cake. That's a okay. Yeah. That's a mouthful. Please, okay. So we've got our uh, butter and sugar already creamed yep. here. We're gonna whisk up our dry ingredients. And I kind of thought, you know, after all of that, you know, pizza, why don't we do a gluten-free cake? So these these dry ingredients are mm. almond mm. meal, cornmeal, and a gluten-free blend. Did you know I was gonna be in the kitchen with you today, making a little gluten-free? <laughs> That's I right. That. Okay, well, good, it's good. all for you, Karen. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? It's in my mind. 
<laughs> okay. By the way, we make gluten-free pizza, Pizzana, too. You oh, won't you believe do? it's gluten-free. Yeah. You should come over. He wow. makes the world's best gluten-free pizza. People okay. literally send his gluten-free pizza back because they assume that it's not gluten-free. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. So we're going to just um, add our sour cream now. We're okay. sort of doing our dry and then our wet and then our dry. Oh, my God. So I know sure. she didn't just kind of put all of the dry in there. Like I you say, you're kind of taking your time so with this. That's you let it come right. together properly. Let it come together. We don't want to overmix the batter. Okay. But we want to get it all blended. And Very once good. we have our batter blended, we are going to add it to our springform pan, which has actually right already, over here. We'll bring right that over, over here. It's already been prepared so beautifully. Do you see how those plums have been cut? Yeah. And they're kind of put in like a concentric circle like that? I got here a little bit earlier and I started working on the plums. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, it took me a while. Garrett. Well, you know what? Those are some really nice knife skills. I gotta say, I'm yeah. impressed. No, you know, I don't mess around in the kitchen. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Yeah, okay. I mean, look at your apron. It's so clean. <laughs> it all starts with the apron, Candace. It's all about the apron. All right, well, I can't get that here, out, so here, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna. Here you go. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Yeah. Aw, yeah. my hero. Wait, 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 so we're wait, gonna wait, add. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, see, this is <laughs> what I'm talking about. We're gonna add this batter on top of the plums. Good. And actually, underneath those plums is a really nice, like, brown sugar, honey mixture. Ooh, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that when you finally invert this cake, it's gonna be all gooey and juicy oh and delicious. That That's what we're looking for. Amazing. And we have this springform pan lined with aluminum foil because you don't want that batter, once it gets in the oven, hits the heat, and it starts getting kind of runny, you don't want it to leak out. Now, just uh, out of curiosity, why is it that you need to use a springform pan for something like this? Well, it just makes for an easier release. So because it's an upside-down cake, we're going to invert it when it comes out of the oven. Okay. And then we can just release it with this and handy little clip. it pops out cleaner? pops mm -hmm. out cleaner. Okay. You don't have any plums stuck to the bottom. I'm just going to keep going. And we're just going to put this in the <laughs> Daniele. Here you go. We're going to put good. this in the yeah. oven for Thank about you. an hour. Yeah, you put it in there for about an hour. Very At good. what temperature? Here, let me help you. Oh, you got it. 350. 350. And you're just looking for the cake to be able to lightly spring back when you touch it with your finger. Oh, and now look at the that. Result. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. How gorgeous is that? That's the real deal. I'm going to have some. <laughs> While yeah, you guys really cut that job. up and serve it up, I'd love for you to tell us about Sugar Rush oh, in the second season. Congratulations thank you as a second so producer. Much. Yes, Sugar Rush is coming back for a second season on Netflix. And it's summer, so you can binge it all day and you don't even have to worry. About and there's no going calories to watching. There's no calories watching. Although I would recommend <laughs> having one of these handy when you're watching because you do tend to get a little hungry. First. Um, so yeah, so that is coming out on July 26th. And then I also launched a podcast oh, for, for all those foodies out there. Um, it's called Live to Eat. It's available That's on Apple, me. Spotify. And actually, one of the interviews right now <laughs> yeah. is with my friend Daniele. Oh, and he wonderful. takes us on a very deep dive yes. into his pizza making style. So, oh, man, amazing. definitely oh, check man. it out. Wow. <laughs> we get a slice too. You can keep cutting. Oh, keep cutting. It's okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Can't believe I'm resting. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Keep me working. Listen. Hey, don't forget wow. about Daniele. Oh, Daniele. 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 That's yours. Oh. Here we go. Both of these Daniele. are equally delicious. I know. I don't know which one to put in my mouth first. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there's plenty more where that came from. Yeah. So, well, not so much of this because we've eaten all of To be honest, thank you so Thanks, much. Guys. Thank you so much. Amazing. Thank I'm just happy. So much. Much. Bon I'm appetit. just happy too. Mm. This is just the taste of summer. I, I just it really is. Sorry. <laughs>